I'm Mark Stratt with Stuart Amos Sweeper Company and I'd like to talk today about the main room and elevator adjustments, maintenance and uh, how they actually function with their down pressure and, and chain adjustments, all that. So, first of all, in all our models of mechanical sweepers, the Starfire line of sweepers, the main room and elevators are connected mechanically. And how that is accomplished is there's a cylinder that operates the up and down motion of the room and elevator, and here's the linkage that controls the elevator, and here's the linkage that sets the main room down. The shock absorber is to prevent the main broom from vibrating when it's spinning at higher speed. And this mechanism is for setting the down pressure of the main broom. Once the main broom is adjusted for specific customer's requirements, then it should not need to be readjusted. It should stay at that point uh, throughout the life of the broom. And how that's accomplished is to increase the down pressure, you lengthen the turnbuckle out. And to decrease the down pressure, you shorten the turnbuckle up. If there is not enough adjustment, you can, in, in either direction, you can either lengthen this chain out one length or shorten it up one length, depending on what the customer's requirements are. And do exactly the same on the other side. The other side will have usually one less length on the chain than this side because it weighs more on that side because of the weight of the motor. And while we're up here, I'll go over the maintenance points on this machine on the elevator. There are seven points on this side of the machine and six points on the other side. There's the upper elevator bearing, the center bearing, and there's the lower bearing down there that is off a common point here so it's easy to get at. That's the only three maintenance points on this elevator on this side. On the main broom, there is a loop point in here, one in here, one here, and on the main broom bearing. The other side is the same points, other than it does not have a main broom bearing to loop. Frequency of moving these points, the bearings, the three on the elevator and the main broom require lube every eight hours of operation. The arms once a week, the same as the gutter broom, lube every 40 hours of operation. The elevator is chained or adjusted at the factory and because they're all, everything is new, they elevator chains will stretch considerably in the first 40 to 50 hours. After that, you run the chains as loose as possible to get maximum life out of your chains. Uh, the elevator chain adjustments are accomplished by adjusting the top shaft up and do the same adjustment on both sides to keep it equal and you then you don't have chain uh, getting out of balance. And when you run out of adjustment on the top, then you start adjusting the center shaft. And it can go out that way towards the back, uh, but again, do not over tighten your chains. There is an adjustment on the bottom shaft, but that is only adjusted when the elevator is new or when it is rebuilt. The 
elevator liner, the floor is in two pieces, the bottom one-third and the top two-thirds are bolted in separately, so the bottom liner you will probably change three to one of the top liners. So it's only four bolts to take the bottom liner out, slide in the new one. It's a very simple process of doing it. If you have a hoist or on a loading belt. And bearing shafts, you can get the bottom shaft through this plate here. By removing that plate, it puts the bearing right out in the open. Now moving on, we have the drag shoe and it's supported by these two chains which is also support operated by the same cylinders that operate the main broom up and down and the elevator up and down. So when the main broom goes down, the drag shoe goes down as well. For certain applications, there is also a drag brush that attaches to these points and you can remove the carbide drag shoe and the brush is much more forgiving if you're doing a lot of turning in milk cuts or something like that. The main broom strips to replace the main broom strips you just undo these three bolts this plate falls down onto the shaft and the strips come out the side. After you change the strips on the broom and you have new brushes on the, on the main broom, you want to check your main broom brush pattern on the pavement. So to do that, you would put the broom down, run it for just a couple of minutes, lift it up, move the sweeper ahead, and see what kind of pattern there is on the pavement. It should be between four and eight inches evenly all the way across the main room. If it needs adjustment, you would only adjust it when it's new brooms. You do not adjust it throughout the life of the broom. If you need more down pressure, again, lengthen this out need less down pressure, shorten it up. On the right hand side of the sweeper is where all the drive mechanism is for the elevator and the motor is on the inside of this panel. It's chain driven. There is a, an idler in there that can be adjusted but they require very little adjustment throughout the life of the machine. And again, here's your two adjustments for your, your main elevator chains. And again, run your chains as loose as possible for the longevity of those chains. The looser the better.